Okay, right here on this corner of the house, before I get the front porch ready to pour the concrete, I need to install uh, these two three inch um, combos which will facilitate the bullhorn cleanouts. Now by code I have to have these bullhorn cleanouts out here, but what this also does, this also allows me to test, put a test ball out here in the sewer line and uh, I'm going to use water, now that we're warm enough, I'm going to use water to uh, test the sewer and it, it prevents me uh, creating any uh, drainage flood flooding issues when I go to pull the test on the uh, on the sewer line. I have a three inch clean out inside that I technically could put that test ball in, but if I pull the test ball, I have to pull the clean out cover to get to it, which means all the water that would be in the pipe would end up on the floor inside the house. So by doing it out here, it would just go right down the sewer, right into the septic system. So I need to carefully dig this corner out, expose the sewer line, hopefully without hitting it with my backhoe. There's also a water line right here I don't want to damage. So I need to very carefully do it, and I need to give myself enough room to get these clean outs installed. Okay, this is uh, good enough for now. Uh, let me talk about a couple of obvious things here. Uh, when gluing 
uh, ABS to PVC, you have to use what's called a transition glue. Now, I, I don't care for doing that. That's not something I do very often, but I had a bunch of ABS fittings, uh, and I didn't want to go spend money on uh, uh, ABS fittings, so I just bought a can of transition glue. Obviously, when gluing ABS fittings, use ABS glue or PVC glue with PVS, P, uh, PVC fittings. Um, the last thing I'll say is uh, the ground's still pretty clammy uh, because we had a little bit of r rain over the weekend. And this is the side of our house that gets the least amount of sun. And so I'm not gonna do any more grading than this, especially because I'm about to start working on the, on the porch. Um, but this is good enough for now. This allows me to put a test ball out here and to pull, pull the, the test ball without getting water inside the house. Then on top of that, this is what code calls for with a new build. I have to have bullhorn cleanouts. The idea behind bullhorn cleanouts is I can run a sewer snake up and down and cross both uh, that piece of pipe in between. Um, I've seen a number of times where guys install these backwards and what that does is that prevents you from being able to get to the, the section of pipe in between the cleanout. So it's important that it's a, a, a U-shaped, like, like bullhorns. Um, I, never I never glue the caps, um, especially until final grade is done, landscaping. Um, I don't know how many times I got called out to a job and I couldn't find the cleanouts because somebody cut them off too low and, and or uh, um, they glued them too low and either we never found them or it was a pain to find them and that forced us to go inside and pull a toilet or something like that. So I'm going to leave this about this high until final grade is done out here and then still until gravel. I think we're going to have gravel right here. So once I have the gravel down and I have a pretty good idea, I'm going to set these at uh, the height of the gravel so they're not a trip hazard. Uh, my nephew, my little nephew Cole, when he was um, probably four years old, he tripped and busted his nose on the cleanouts that were sticking up about two feet out of the ground because uh, uh, whoever installed those cleanouts um, left them up way too high. And so um, I'll, I'll cut these down to finish grade, and then I'll probably even remove these raised head, remove this raised head plug, and put what's called a countersunk plug where it's just not a trip hazard. I don't want any reason to, to trip. I had my mom my, and my aunt up here over the weekend and uh, real quickly I recognized that I've got to do everything I possibly can to make it safe uh, for them and for anybody that might be prone to tripping. Um, this is the water line. I'm going to dig down and run this around the back. This is the water line that connects to the house. Once we decide uh, what our water source is going to be, I'm going to dig back down and, and get this uh, uh, buried to the appropriate depth and tie it into wherever I'm going to go with it. Actually, I'm probably going to put what's called a stop and waste out here so I can um, have a, a location to drain the house. The last thing I would say is it's smart to take a picture or to make notes somewhere uh, where your cleanouts are. That way, if they're ever needed, uh, you know exactly where they're at. And, and mark it. Sometimes you can pile rocks around them so you so you know where they're going to be. Um, I don't know how many uh, times I went out to a job that had a mainline backup, and if they'd had a cleanouts accessible, it would have been under a hundred dollar job. But because they didn't have cleanouts, I either had to get on the roof and snake it, which turns into a two hundred dollar job, or even pull the toilet if I if I wasn't comfortable getting on the roof, uh, pull the toilet and snaking it from there which is at least a $200 job because it takes me two to three times longer to uh, take care of this. So uh, bullhorn cleanouts are required by code for a reason. Um, fairly simple uh, to install. I didn't install them during the uh, initial rough plumbing because um, I hadn't done all the grading that I wanted to do. And so now that I have this in, I can get my test ball in, pump some water up from the creek, fill the house up with, uh, fill, fill the ABS up with water. Um, and uh, make sure that everything's good and then I can order the, in, the uh, inspection for the plumbing. So pretty simple job. All in all it took me less than probably an hour, hour and a half. As far as materials concerned, um, if you did it yourself you had about 30 bucks in materials. But to dig it up and expose it, I, I, I've never charged that much to do it but I know lots of guys get, get anywhere from, from 600 plus 
to, uh, to dig up and uh, put a set of clean outs in. Pretty important uh, piece of the puzzle, pretty easy to put in if you ask me. Okay, now that the bullhorn cleanouts are installed, one of the last things that I've got to get done before I order, uh, I'm going to order all three inspections at the same time, which is the gas line, the water and sewer lines, and the electrical. But one of the last things I've got to do is I've got to get uh, the, the electrical panel wired up. And because I don't have any 220 in this house, because I don't have any real, real major uh, other than 14-2 uh, and 12-2 wire, um, it should be a real quick and easy job. So tomorrow I'm going to finish uh, the electrical panel and then on Wednesday I'm going to start the roof. I'm going to get the roof finished. Uh, it's probably going to be a two or three day process. Um, I've decided to, to do a, a rolled roofing over the top of this roof before I put the corrugated tin on top of it. And then I've got a little trick I want to try with the corrugated tin to ensure that when I run screws down on the ridge that I do not dimple the tin and uh, get a good seal with the rubber washers. So the next couple of videos should be interesting videos, at least as far as I'm concerned.